Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to another prediction video. Yes, this does mean that my Premier League predictions will be coming back up for next season. But anyway, that's all to come. But anyway, we're here for one reason, one reason only. So let's get straight down to it. So guys, you know what to do. Give us a love, be front of to enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and let's go. Now the first from the first game of Euro 2020 will be Turkey versus Italy. Um, played in Rome, obviously this is one of the competitions that is going all over Europe, including here in the UK. Unfortunately, I have not been lucky enough to get any tickets, but anyway, I'm still going to enjoy the competition. But Turkey, go, uh, Turkey played it in a neutral venue, both, you know, got okay in the national team. Italy probably more slightly favourite than Turkey going into this game, and that's what I'm going to go for, I'm going to go for an Italy win. And I'm going to go for a 2-0 Italy win. The next one is Wales versus Switzerland. Uh, played in Baku. I believe that's where the Champions League final was played. Uh, Wales did have an okay uh, warm-up to the um, competition. Switzerland, I haven't watched them uh, a lot over the past you know, couple of years. Uh, let's not forget this competition was supposed to be played last year. Um, but I'm just going to predict a Swan uh, Wales win. I nearly said Swansea. Um, and I'm going to go for a 1 0 Wales win for that one. Stick with the home nations, why not? For the first round um, group game. You never know what how these are going to play out. Obviously, going into week um, two. Stories do. Um, the next one is Denmark versus Finland. Dan the Danish are pretty good, I think, on you know um, in the Euros and the World Cups. But played in uh, Copenhagen, which I do. I think that's in Denmark anyway. So I'm guessing they gather a lot of home support. I'm gonna go for a Denmark win. And I'm going to go for a 2-1 Denmark win. Next one is Belgium versus Russia. Belgium to me going into... It's actually played in St. Petersburg, which I believe is in Russia. So, hmm. This one's going to be quite an interesting one. Obviously, Brighton have got a Belgian boy in their squad. Uh, Trossard. Very looking forward to seeing him play, uh, you know, in this competition. Um, and I believe Belgium have gone pretty strong in this competition. I'm not sure who's going to be favourites to win this. Obviously, as I said, it's all over Europe. Um, I'm going to go for a draw on this one, I think. And I'm going to go for a 2-2 scoreline for that one. Now, if you excuse me, because I'm, I'm happy to do, um, do this off, my, uh, off the main website. And the next one is England versus uh, Croatia. Croatia is that? Yeah, I think that's how you say it. Um, obviously being played at Wembley. This game is going to be slightly interesting. I believe it was Croatia that knocked England. I can't remember what competition it was. I know it's one major competition where England did qualify. I believe that was Croatia way back. Um, I was quite young when that happened, so I believe Steve McManaman was manager as well. Um, England have a pretty dodgy friendly, obviously England is still going to remain that one player due to uh, Trips Alexander-Arnold's injury. So, I'm going to go, I'm going to go with my nation, but I'm going to call this a draw. I'm going to go for a 2-2 scoreline for that one. Don't underestimate Croatia in no circumstances whatsoever. The next one is Austria versus Moldova. Is that how you pronounce it? Um, don't know enough about the two nations. I'm just going to go for a 1 1 scoreline for that one. There you go, I've got that out of the way for you. I'm going all the way to the 15th, by the way, so it's why it's weekly predictions. And um, the next one, Netherlands versus Ukraine. Ukraine, I know a bit about them, um, if I'm being honest. I know much more about the Netherlands. 
you know, over the past few um, years, and obviously what the English basically bring up through through the system. So I do know a bit more about the Netherlands than Ukraine. I'm still going to recommend a really good game over the you know the um, over the ninety minutes. Don't forget, some group stages as well. Group C uh, gets competed on June the thirteenth. I'm going to go for a Netherlands win just about, and I'm going to go for a 3-1 Netherlands win for that one. The next one is Scotland versus Czech Republic. Um, Czech Republic obviously really do have a really good squad. Um, you know, don't underestimate, you know, people like Czech Republic. I believe I probably can predict the winners of Euro 2020. If you want to see that, put it in the comments below and that will be another video for me to do, but heading up to Euro 2020. Going up against Scotland, Scotland qualified for their first major competition in quite some time. Um, I can't remember the last time they qualified, but they did actually start when they did it. Congratulations to Scotland. Obviously, in the same group as England, this game could have a big, um, you know, impact where England finished at a group, at a group table. But I'm going to go for a Czech Republic win, and I'm going to go for a 2-0 Czech Republic win. My next one is Poland versus Slovakia. Don't know much about both these countries. I do know Poland, you know, do have some really good players in their squad. But what way am I going to go? I'm going to go for a Poland win, and I'm going to go for a 2-0 Poland win. My next one is what uh, Spain. I need to say Swansea again versus Sweden. Um, Spain, I reckon are favourites. Do I think they're going to win the competition? As I said, put it down in the comments below. It's going to be a really interesting game going forward for both of these clubs. But I'm going to go for a Spain win. I say clubs, international team, I meant. Um, yeah, I'll. I'm going to go for a Spain win, and I'm going to go for a 2-1 Spain win for that one. A lot of football coming up over the next uh, week or so. The next one is Hungary versus Portugal. Hungary, don't know much about them. Portugal, obviously, you've got Cristiano Ronaldo and, you know, really good players there. I'm going to go for a Portugal win, and I'm going to go for a 2-0 Portugal win. My last one for the week, I know you say, you don't know about, you know, it's week, because, uh, so there will be a video when I talk to you more about that in a minute, but it's France versus Germany. Both, both big players coming up against each other in this game. I definitely will be sitting down watching this, but what way do I call it? I'm going to go probably for my first draw, I think it's my first draw, might be my second, um, but anyway, I'm going to go for... A draw and I'm going to go for a one all scoreline for that one. So anyway, match day two, I'm not sure, yeah. So the next sort of matches will be loaded up maybe between the 16th and the 17th when some matches get played. Um, so it won't be a 16th because I'll run out. It'll probably be between the 13th and the 14th of June. I'll try and get something up there. But anyway guys, you know what to do till then. If you enjoy it, subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.